A good thermometer is something you don't know you need until the second it's required. Joel from Sur La Table and I love this instant read thermometer because it does everything you expect and more. Yeah, absolutely. Molly, I'm going a little Inspector Gadget on you today. Um, this is the mother of all thermometers. I absolutely love this. So yeah. this is called the Thermocouple Instant Read Thermometer. Okay. And when I mean instant read, I mean it takes one second to get a read. So there's no hanging out and waiting, cooling down your oven and waiting for the temp to read. Yeah, exactly. And I think yeah. that's, you know, people don't realize that when you put, you know, a, a little thermometer in your meat and you're standing there for five seconds, six seconds, you're losing a lot of heat out of mm -hmm. the oven. So every second counts when you're measuring the temp. Yeah. So I thought we'd show you a little example because this has a lot of little tricks to Bells it. Bells and whistles. Cool. So what I love about this thermometer is you can open up your oven and actually test for hot spots. So I can see in the back here, it's like 450 degrees. But if I point it to the corner here, it's a little cooler, about 425. So if I'm making brownies or cookies, you can kind of cheat to where's the hot spot, where's the cooler spots, and have a lot more consistent product. Now, if you're not cooking inside the oven, let's say you're doing something on the stovetop, this works great as well. So we have a paella pan. A paella pan is really wide. It's a lot wider than the surface area of a burner. So you know that the middle of this is gonna be a lot hotter while the outside's gonna be cooler. So you just take your thermometer, point it towards the middle. Yeah, this is like 160 degrees. And if I shift it to the outside, it's, it's like 116, 115 degrees. So this is where I might bring the outside a little bit closer to the middle of the burner, vice versa, bring the middle to the outside. So it cooks a little more evenly. So it's all about precision. It's all about consistency. And this thermometer really takes you there. So let's say you're not doing the surface area of foods and you actually want to get internal temps. This can do that as well. Yes, for example, on a leg of lamb or any large cut of meat where you can't check the temperature of something mm -hmm. just by touch. Right. And you really need to check it internally. So this has an excellent probe that you use and the tip of it actually gets really thin, yep. which is great for accuracy. So here you'll find a spot usually on something like this, if it's been tied, I'll use that little area to go in. And then you press it in from summer grilling to midwinter roasting, this infrared thermometer will really keep you on track. 